I'm back to Cleveland on the Rocks at Liza Burma. And I'm Matt. And that's Matt. And it's Tuesday. And he had tacos. So we got Rome. Welcome back, guys. Today, we got a new rum from Myers Rum. And this is the coolest, like, and it does a thing like this. <laughs> Myers Rum Single Barrel, 86%, 86 proof, sorry. And rested in Sazerac Rye Barrels. And I'm assuming that's where it gets its extra little proof kick from. It's from the Sazerac Barrels. Right. Because you can't go wrong with Sazerac. Right. So, normally, all Myers uh, has been known for always keeping its high level of 80 proof. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, this one is 86 proof, which we're going to specify that since it's aged in the bourbon of beautiful Sazerac, which is 90 proof, it picks up its extra 6% from that. So, we're going to say 80% rum, 6% delicious Sazerac <sighs> rye. That better be the finish. So, this one I picked up in Michigan, and I was down at Wine Palace, because I love freaking Wine Palace. I'm going to put some pictures down here of the store. I freaking love that place. Massive Amazing. place. It's great. So don't go there and buy too much more than I did, because if you do, you're going to get more points, then you're going to get the Weller bottles that I'm looking for, and I'm really trying to get those, so I go there every couple months. So don't do that. But go there and get this. $27. Boom. So you ready to drink our rum? Since you had your tacos, yeah, and I have my nachos, I feel like it's only right that we get down with some rum. So, that was actually a decent pop for a rum, right? But I don't, I don't, I don't know really how many rum pops we've had on this channel. But, just think of Captain Jack Sparrow. We're gonna at least, oh, we've had one other rum that I can remember. We've had two rums on this channel now. This is dark. It is very dark. Is rum usually this dark? It looks like root beer. I'm not getting the scent up here from pouring it. So, I usually so try there's, to pour there's it under your me too. clear rum, which is done in um, stills, and then this is, I'm gonna guess since it's a used barrel, it's gonna be picking up the extra color, um, yeah. and a dark rum, so it's, it's double, I would guess. All right, we're gonna get our set on this. Let's see what we're going at here. Oh my God. So what do you, what, what are you smelling on this one? I'm smelling banana nut bread, like full force, toasted walnut, Banana, banana leaves, like that fake runt banana smell. It's like a rubbery sense to me. It smells like rubber and... Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it's rum or what. I don't get the Sazerac kick on if it. You, if you ever had Appleton Jamaican rum, it smells exactly like that. You are correct, actually. I've had that when we were on our honeymoon. So you get, you get like, just apple, banana peel... Um, like I said, the, the nuttiness from banana nut bread, it, you know, kind of leaches over into the sweetness, which I'm going to guess comes from the barrel from the Sazerac rye. Hopefully we get a, a Sazerac kick at the end of this. I'm really, really hoping it tones out with that. Let's hope. Right? I don't, I can't even pull a different scent from this. That's crazy. Cheers. <laughs> well, it definitely, it definitely tastes like it smells. Okay. So... We've done our shot of this in here, and I feel like rum by itself is not something that we're used to on this channel. So I'm going to give you an open review when you pour this with Coke, because I feel like rum and Coke, like a staple. That's when you go to the bar, you're like, hey, you don't have a good whiskey. Let me get a rum and Coke. And that's right. kind of where I go with that. So what we did was we grabbed us some Coke, which is cherry Coke, because I don't really do Coke here. I'm sorry. I like cherry Coke. So we're going to pour some cherry Coke in here. A splash. Let's go light. It's about a splash. Let's go light. There we go. <laughs> cool. All right, so we're going to mix this into a cherry Coke and let you know how this tastes as a cherry Coke because it's not a very expensive bottle. You still have the cool Sazerac name on it, and you got the really cool thing that you get from the store. So so, so all I got from this one, you know, when we tasted it was we just get that rye finish, but it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of burn, uh, burn eraser, uh, burnt tire kind of uh, taste to it. Rubber. Um you don't really get that finished sweetness from the Sazerac that you normally do. Uh, so we, we think that this is going to make amazing if we add 
the sweetness to it. Rum Make an shake. amazing mixed drink here. So it's you're basically taking your rum and coke and your whiskey and coke, putting them together. Hell yeah. Now that sounds fantastic to me. So here we go, Matt. You ready? Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. Well, that's actually good. Okay. Basically, this is one of those things you put in a cherry coke and honestly put some grenadine in it, put a little cherry in it with moonshine in it, and good some luxardos. Go. Get some luxardos, pop them in there because those are rum marinated cherries, anyways. That's true. There you go. No, this is actually not bad like that. This oh, yeah. is gonna be great for mixed drinks. Like I said, you know, he was talking about it's only like twenty six dollars a bottle. Um, this is gonna make some great mixed drinks. It's gonna give it kind of its like own unique twist. So if you're having a house party or something, the guests are gonna be like, "Oh man, that's that's really unique and good." Yeah, what is that? Right. You know, I, I got I, four I bottles of them, so way. everybody that's coming here, you're getting rum and cokes. We're about to do it big. So nice. I really hope y'all like Sazerac Rye Rum. Cheers, cheers, guys. Mm. Actually, that's really good with coke. No, like, I love it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked that rum video because we were having tacos and nachos and figured that'd be a super good idea. So, hopefully you guys go out there, find your uh, rum of choice that you like here, and uh, do that big. So, uh, <laughs> like we tell you in all the videos, if you guys are drinking and you're not at home, make sure you call an Uber, get home safe. People want to see you tomorrow. Don't drink and drive. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. Do all them big things. Get you a shirt. Help us get more bottles. We'll get more bottles. And we'll see you guys next time.